This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Last time on Delightful Travelers, we checked out Las Vegas for the very first time. The strip was fun and all, but the nature around the city blew us away. In this video, we're changing things up and taking a crack at fan life. We're a little nervous, but looking forward to the challenge and to see if fan life is for us. I'm Anna, and this is Trevor. In this series, we're renting a camper van for the very first time and making our way around the southwest of the US. Make sure to hit subscribe and click the like button so you don't miss a single video. A huge thanks to our channel members and patrons for making these videos possible. Van life starts now. I'm on my way now. Well, today is a very big day on the channel here. We are doing something we've wanted to do for a very long time. For literally years. For years. And we're doing it. We're renting a van with absolutely no experience. A camper van at that, not just any <laughs> van. A camper van, we're going out, we're in Las Vegas right now, and we're heading out to do a super fun experience. So for those of you that have followed along for a long time, you know that we kind of like slow travel around the world. We live short term in different places, but we try to like really integrate into a place. Well, this is gonna be a little bit different, but we're gonna be living in a camper van. <laughs> this is a whole new living experience. This specifically though is a Winnebago Solus. Yeah, and that's the thing. We wanted to try living in one of these for a very long time. Of course, we'll be giving you guys a tour. There's another one right here. This is actually not ours. Ours is this unit. We'll give you a full tour in an upcoming video, but we'll, we'll show you a little bit of the inside once we get rolling. We got all of our luggage that we travel with right there, and uh, I think it's time to kind of try to figure out how to disconnect the uh, electricity. Yeah, there's a lot to do because we're <laughs> still at the uh, rental place. Yeah. We haven't even done anything yet. We haven't even taken off. We haven't driven anywhere. We're going to meet our friends, the Endless Adventure. You guys, if you watched the last video, you know that we've met up with them and we're going to be traveling around with their RV. I know. They're Clementine. actually, they're texting right now saying they're going to meet us somewhere up the highway. So it's also, I think, going to be the first time we're driving in America in a very long time. Just trying to figure out how to get uh, disconnected here and we're already, surely you don't pull this hard, do you? There we go. All right, step one, disconnect the electricity. <laughs> All right, so we have to store this cable. This is a little sneak peek of what's inside. I think this can go down here, huh? Yeah, I think you can probably put it in here. All right, so there's all these little nifty storage compartments everywhere. This, uh, we'll figure out how the bed works in a bit. We will definitely show you guys how the whole system here works. We got a lot to learn. We have a lot to learn. Are you ready? I don't know. <laughs> all right, here we go. It's, uh, brain feels a little bit overwhelmed i'm not gonna lie uh, if you guys are excited about this hit the like button if you're watching this because you're thinking about renting a van this is the perfect series because we are not uh van lift people and we're gonna see if we can be and we're also not very handy people here we go let's just do it First thing we have to do here is kind of get out of Las Vegas. So there's going to be a fair amount of traffic, but you can probably tell the views are pretty nice. There's some mountains in the background, but uh, yeah, we got the GPS down here trying to figure out our way. And I just want to point out, this is also the largest vehicle that I've ever driven before. So that's a little bit intimidating. In a future video, we will get you some facts. We didn't even have time to get the actual facts, like how long the van is and things like that. So we will find that info out, but for now, let's just hope we can get to where we're going. We gotta go meet the Endless Adventure first, and that's gonna happen very soon. I think we're doing okay. We already took one wrong turn, we realized, or we didn't realize that our GPS wasn't talking to us. So we were like trying to figure stuff out, just sort of talking between the two of us and then realized that we didn't take the exit we were supposed to, so we had to kind of get turned around, but we're all good now. I think we're on the right track. And I don't think we've t said where we're going yet, which is Zion National Park. It's in Utah. It's supposed to be amazing. We've heard from some people that it's their absolutely favorite national park in all of the US, which I think is a pretty big yeah. thing to say because there's some amazing national parks in this country. So yeah. we're, we're uh, super stoked. Yeah, we're gonna be hanging out there for like a few days. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm sure you'll see quite a bit of that park, but this is so fun. Already, we're kind of digging van life. Just ask us again. Five minutes in and you're like, yeah, this is for me. <laughs> ask us again once we start having problems. They will happen. <laughs> we interrupt this video to say a huge thanks to Squarespace, who is once again back as a sponsor. In case you're still unfamiliar with them, Squarespace is the all-in-one website building platform that helps you to stand out and succeed online. We, of course, built our own website and blog on their platform. 
They make it so easy for us to feature our travel content from photo galleries to video sections where we can directly embed our YouTube videos. With Fluid Engine, they make it so simple to create your website exactly the way you want with flexible website templates. Squarespace also has built-in analytics so we can see how many people are visiting our site and what our most popular content is along with so many other features. Are you ready to build your own Squarespace website? Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com slash delightful travelers for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and supporting creators like us. We found these guys and Eric's checking, <laughs> Eric's inspecting it already. This is, why we're, this is why you're here. I can't help it. Yeah. It just looks so pretty under there. Yeah, it actually kind of matches Ruby. It yeah. does, I know. Yeah. We're gonna be oh, a yeah. little red. <laughs> like we did it on purpose. Yeah. Very nice. We were saying though how happy we are that they're with us. Huh? Yeah, because like... yeah, they gave us the tour of the inside and all the little like switches and all the stuff and it's like, uh -uh. okay, I will remember all of that for sure. Yeah. Hopefully we can help you all out and get you all set up. So this, I guess it folds down. Yeah, we don't know how this bed works yet, but we have to figure that out. That's nice. You can stand up here like perfectly. That works. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I hit my head there. <laughs> we are looking forward to giving you guys a proper tour once we kind of figure it out ourselves, but we're at some gas station now. Uh, I think it's called Love's or something. We're gonna go in there and stock up on some junk food probably maybe even try to find a sandwich we have about I think like three more hours uh, to drive so we're gonna need some fuel for our bellies <laughs> We're back out on the road now already and uh, it's really cool because we're getting to see uh, Clementine and Ruby in the wild. So it's so much fun out here. We got our road snacks as well. This is a necessity. We're told when you're doing van life, snacks are a necessity anywhere. We're on, we're on a trip. This is super fun. I don't know what these are, some pop chips. But uh, the views are also getting just crazy. It's so different from the city now. Like we're in this wide open desert. There's giant mountains in the background. It's just super dry. So. So much fun. I think we got about two hours left until we get to uh, Zion. So for those of you that are new around here and just watching for the very first time, just a little bit of a backstory for you. Um, during the pandemic, of course, we got stuck at home in Canada, like so many other people around the world get stuck at home. And we wanted something to do. We ended up like selling our condo and buying a much smaller one. So we had some leftover money and we were like, do we A, get a camper van and travel around? or do we get a tiny house? And we took a while to kind of debate which one do we want to do. Basically like for a tiny house, we thought maybe we'd live in it a little bit, but more or less it would be for a rental property. And maybe down the road we'd live in it full time, but for now it would just be more of an investment than anything. And the camper van was like, well, we can't really do anything else. So we could just for now travel around Canada. And then when, when things open up, we can start traveling all around North America. So we opted, we ended up opting for the tiny house. You can go back on our channel and watch all sorts of videos about our tiny house and get a tour of it. It's really cool, we love it. But of course we kind of missed out on the camper van experience. So now we get to try it out. We're starting to see what the hype is all about. We heard the drive here is spectacular and just look at these views. These mountains are incredible. The camera doesn't do a good job capturing them. There's even some rushing rivers around. Wow! And now it's even gotten to like a little more green than rather straight up desert. So the whole landscape is changing over the course so far of about like two and a half, uh, almost three hours. This is awesome and we're going to be doing this quite a bit for the next couple of weeks so uh, yeah this gets us really excited to see more of America and its crazy landscape here on the west coast. All right we did it you guys we made it the uh, the drive was absolutely incredible. It was unbelievable <laughs> like we just literally wanted to stop all the time we had to keep going but oh my goodness it was one, maybe one of those beautiful drives we've ever been on. I feel like I'm saying that a lot lately. Well I mean <laughs> if look look some... at this look this way. Like how crazy is that? We are around these crazy, crazy mountain 
rock formations like yeah. this is wild. It really is. <laughs> so now we uh, we did stop along the way. We got some groceries, mm -hmm. got some a uh, couple other camping supplies, but our van's a little bit of a mess. And now we got to figure out like where everything goes. We yeah, so we've space. got our campsite. We got to get it plugged in and do all the thingamajigs that you do. Drive was pretty nuts, huh? Not bad at all. <laughs> that was some of the more beautiful scenery I think we've ever seen. <laughs> I know. Look how good this looks. Allison's like, what are you doing? Disconnecting it? Oh yeah, he's doing our classic RV dance once we get to a spot. But awesome. uh, it's a lot easier when you get to look at this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I mean, it's just insane. I know. Nature's crazy. <laughs> and we got this uh, killer setup. Oh yeah. Yeah, their spot this is, not bad at all. is here. Our spot is there. <laughs> Yeah. Both of our rigs just look perfect in this backdrop. I know. Very happy about it. Here's what we mean by the mess. So yeah, small space. Now we have to figure out what to do with all this stuff and make it uh, livable. Yeah, this is all our stuff. We got to, well, maybe put the bed together. I don't even know if we want to do that because it's not really like a, we'll give you a tour later, but it's not really a hangout space back here. So maybe we just keep it into the bed and then figure out where to pack all the stuff to you. Yeah, first let's sort the groceries. <laughs> Our fridge is uh, not holding up too bad here. We mm -hmm. definitely some things uh, tipped over. Oh. But would you like a beer? Yes, please. What is that? A pale ale? That's a Sierra Nevada pale ale. Uh, nice. Same one. All right, cheers to our first successful van life uh, drive. Drive. <laughs> drive. We survived. The driving part we can do. We know that. But can we live in here? Can we get it set up? Can we get it set up? But also, this is going to be a cool kind of camping. It's like glamping on wheels, isn't it? Yeah. All right, we're going to try to get the power going here. We're hooked up to the van on the other side. I see a blue light over here. I see a blue light. Yeah. I don't smell Come fire. Come the blue light. Go show them the blue light. Yeah. Blue light, blue light. <laughs> you did something right. <laughs> That's a good sign. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to get this bed down. You got it. <laughs> we're going to have to move some of the blankets. So you guys can probably tell it is a bit of a tight space, but that's as expected. We're just in a, a van here. Help. Oh, help. <laughs> All right. We're making progress yeah. here. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to sleep in this. I don't know. I'm six feet tall, so will it work for me? <laughs> hmm. Good question. Right now we're trying to figure out like where to put clothes in this small space. So we have a cabinet here. Yeah, um, there's one on this here. side. This is probably where we'll put our clothes, like most of them that we're using frequently and then everything else will just keep stored under there. Yeah, maybe we'll open it up and show you guys just how big it is. So we can do this with one hand. Yeah, I mean, it's not... Fit, I don't know. I think we can fit a lot of stuff up there. <laughs> maybe we can. We'll try it out anyway. So check this out. Basically, I had read that we probably won't have much of a cell signal and that the Wi-Fi is terrible if non-existent. Well, I just connected to the camp Wi-Fi. I got 165 down and 111 up. Uh, I don't understand. Did they just get new Wi-Fi? I feel like all the reviews were like, the Wi-Fi is terrible and I don't have a cell signal. So. Well, that's good Magic. For us. Amazing. Yay. We can actually work. Well, how about this? We're all settled in. We got the setting in the background. I say semi-settled in. Semi-settled in. There's a fair in. bit of unpacking <laughs> to do. Set up the bed. There's a lot to do, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm slightly nervous right now about how we're going to fit everything and like <laughs> it does feel pretty small. It feels very tight. So yeah, first impressions are very, very tight. We'll see if we can do this. Ooh, there's lots of doggos around Tons here. Tons of dogs around. <laughs> so yeah, we're th there's probably going to be about four or five videos in this series. We're still trying to figure that out, huh? Yeah, uh, we're not quite sure. So we have some, we're going to be here in this area for a few days. I'm going to drive to some other places. I don't know if I want to spill all the no, beans. No, we can't but spill it's the beans be yet. So many like ep I think the whole series is just going to be amazing views and places. I know. Like right now, we are just in this RV park and we're getting settled in. Look at look behind us. Like look at the the ridge line, and that's like everywhere it's around all us. All around us. So we're gonna see more of that, of course. But for now, I think that we're almost settled in. We gotta go get something to eat. Yeah. So we did stop at the grocery store, but we realized that we might be a little bit rushed getting here this evening. Relatively late. We lost an hour, which we didn't oh, realize yeah, when we yeah, yeah. crossed over from Arizona into Utah. The time went from. Uh, Pacific, Pacific time to mountain time, mountain time basically. We lost an hour, which we didn't even realize. So, <laughs> so now we're rushed. The restaurant <laughs> closes at 9. It's 8.15. So we're going to go get something to eat. Yeah. We'll take you guys with us. Right next to our campground is this cute little Mexican place. I think we literally walked about one to two minutes. It was so close. And we've ordered our food. We are pretty hungry. What do we uh, got? So we ended up splitting a chipotle chicken enchilada. It's funny, he put this down in front of me and I thought, wow, that's small to split. Yeah. But they actually split it up for us. Yeah, nice. this is my plate. What do you guys got? Oh my God. We got the burger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to dive right in. I don't think you can tell it's smothered in the green sauce. Look how colorful the dish is in general. Mm. It's like being back in the States and you know, all this Tex-Mex food, 
is one of our favorite things. All of this delicious kind of, it almost looks like sour cream, but it's not. There's a bit of kick because there's some chilies in there. You got tomatoes, you got beans, you got rice. I'm just happy to be here, especially after the long drive. Now we get to eat. Finally get to eat, guys. How's your burger? Oh, it's delicious. Very not Mexican at all, but it's a barbecue bacon Gouda burger. Oh my god. Yeah, and it's supposed to have a whole bunch of onion rings on there. Eric doesn't love them, so they're on the side and I get to eat them. Mm -hmm. We're splitting it though. Burger cheers. Burger cheers. <laughs> Eric, yeah. does, it, does it hit your burger like test? Oh yeah. yeah. It's spicy, it's got bacon on it, tons of cheese, and it's very oily. <laughs> We've made it back to the van and we're trying to figure out like, well, we're trying to get basically settled in because I do want to end up making the bed so we can get cozy in here. We got the windows all covered. We did manage to figure that out. <laughs> but right now I'm trying to sort of unpack because I don't want to be pulling my suitcase out. Like yeah. basically I want to live out of the van. Now the suitcases are kind of below Anna there. So. Yeah, at least they're easily accessible. But for now, we're going to use, I think, the upper cabinets, put all our clothes that we might wear within the next at least few days. Few days, up yeah. there. But it's hard to think ahead. It's like, what's the weather going to be like? It's getting so chilly at night. The days have been a mix of like really, really warm to like not so warm, so it's hard to know. We have some weird, creepy uh, lighting going on. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this, this is this setting the stage for the next uh, ten days. <laughs> God, Hopefully God not. we could be doomed. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably a sign we should wrap up the video, so we are gonna call it here. So we do promise in one of the upcoming videos that we will give you a tour of this. I know you guys are gonna want to see around. Yeah, other... we definitely want to figure it out a little bit. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. It could be the next video. If not, it will be right after that. Expect to see more of Zion. We're going into the national park mm -hmm. and we have a permit to film. Yes. That's a big deal because in the United States you can't do that. So we're gonna be filming some stuff. That's gonna be fun. Of course, we're going out with the Endless Adventure. Make mm -hmm. sure to follow them, subscribe mm -hmm. to them if you haven't already. Their videos will have already been out for quite a while because we're much more behind at the moment than they are. So their videos, <laughs> you may you maybe already have seen everything. I know. Some of you guys have been asking already, but we are quite a bit behind because we jumped around a lot in Asia and we wanted to film it. Mm -hmm. But that's fun. That means more videos for everyone yeah. to go around. So we'll finish up packing and then probably just call it a night because yeah, we're tired. Yeah, we're tired. Hopefully, I really hope you get a good sleep. I'm a little yeah. nervous about if, that. If you're uh, excited for the this new Van Life mini series, hit subscribe, click the like button. It helps us out. Heck, leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought about the video today. And if you're new, it's Trevor, that's me, Anna, Delightful Travelers, hit subscribe. If you're not, we love that you guys come back each and every week. Yeah, we can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I just have no idea what to expect. I think it's gonna be one of the more interesting adventures we've ever been on. No, this is also like obviously quite the change from Vegas. Yes. <laughs> that's a, this is an understatement, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right guys, that's it. From Zion, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.